Hello everyone and welcome to Wellness Zone. Today I'm going to talk about a very serious topic that affects millions of people around the world, lung cancer. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death globally, and it can be hard to detect in its early stages. That's why it's important to know the signs and symptoms of lung cancer and how to get screened if you are at risk. In this video, I will tell you what you need to know about lung cancer detection and how you can protect yourself and your loved ones from this deadly disease. So what is lung cancer? Lung cancer is a type of cancer that starts in the lungs, which are the organs that help you breathe. Lung cancer can affect anyone, but it is more common in people who smoke or are exposed to secondhand smoke, air pollution, asbestos, radon, or other harmful substances. Lung cancer can also be caused by genetic factors or by infections such as tuberculosis or HIV. Lung cancer can be divided into two main types, non-small cell lung cancer, also known as NSCLC, and small cell lung cancer, also known as SCLC. NSCLC is the most common type, accounting for about 85% of all lung cancers. SCLC is less common but more aggressive and fast-growing. The problem with lung cancer is that it often does not cause any symptoms until it has spread to other parts of the body, such as the brain, bones, liver, or adrenal glands. This makes it harder to treat and cure. That's why early detection is crucial for improving the chances of survival and quality of life for lung cancer patients. But how can you detect lung cancer as early as possible? Well, there are some signs and symptoms that you should look out for and some tests that you can take to screen for lung cancer if you are at high risk. Let's go over them one by one. The signs and symptoms of lung cancer may vary depending on the type, location, and stage of the cancer. However, some of the common ones are a persistent cough that does not go away or gets worse over time, coughing up blood or rust-colored sputum, chest pain that worsens with breathing, coughing, or laughing, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, wheezing or hoarseness, loss of appetite or weight loss, fatigue or weakness, recurrent infections such as bronchitis or pneumonia, swelling of the face, neck, or arms. If you have any of these symptoms, especially if you are a smoker or have a history of exposure to lung irritants, you should see your doctor as soon as possible. They may order some tests to check for lung cancer or other conditions that may cause similar symptoms. One of the most common tests for lung cancer is a chest x-ray, which can show abnormal areas in the lungs that may be tumors. However, chest x-rays are not very accurate and can miss small or early stage cancers. That's why a more sensitive test called a low-dose CT scan is recommended for people who are at high risk of lung cancer. A low-dose CT scan uses a special machine that takes multiple x-rays from different angles and creates a detailed image of the lungs. This can help detect lung cancer when it is still small and has not spread. A low-dose CT scan exposes you to less radiation than a regular CT scan, but it still has some risks such as false positive results, overdiagnosis, and unnecessary procedures. According to the American Cancer Society, you should get a yearly low-dose CT scan for lung cancer screening if you meet the following criteria. You are between 50 and 80 years old. You have a history of smoking at least 20 pack years, which means one pack of cigarettes per day for 20 years, or two packs per day for 10 years, or any equivalent combination. You are either a current smoker or have quit within the last 15 years. If you fit these criteria, you should talk to your doctor about the benefits and risks of lung cancer screening and decide if it is right for you. You should also be aware that screening is not a substitute for quitting smoking, which is the best way to prevent lung cancer and other diseases. Now that you know more about lung cancer detection, I hope you feel more informed and empowered to take charge of your health. Remember, lung cancer is not a death sentence, and early detection can make a big difference in your outcome and quality of life. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor or a healthcare professional. They are there to help you and guide you through this journey. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of my new videos. I post new videos every week on health and wellness topics that matter to you. Stay tuned for more, and until next time, stay healthy and happy.